Shredded homes still blanket the Spanish Lakes community. And as Victor Linero hugs his grandmother close. I love you, Mom. I love you, Mom. I love you, Mom. They know their own lives are shredded to pieces, too. It's going to be okay, Mom. Really I spoke with Victor and his grandmother to honor his grandfather, her husband, 66-year-old Alejandro Alonso, killed in Wednesday's deadly tornado. It was a nightmare. You won't see their faces, and there's a powerful reason Victor asked me not to show them. This is about him. He lost his life, is not it? Ain't about me in any way. Victor tells me he was planning to pick up his grandfather to stay with him and his wife in Palm Bay Wednesday. Oh. But before he could pick him up, saw a tornado was heading toward his grandfather's home. I called him back. I'm like, hey, take shelter. He started screaming. He screamed, ah, oh my God. And then I heard a big explosion. And then I heard just wind and just like silence. Victor rushed to the neighborhood only to find his worst fears confirmed. Sure, uh, he, uh, he escorted me to his body, and that's where I was able to say my final goodbye, and I was able to confirm that it was him, and it wasn't supposed to say goodbye. It was supposed to say, hey, let's go to my house, <laughs> you know, but it was goodbye. Alonzo is one of six people St. Lucie County Sheriff Keith Pearson confirms were killed, including Alonzo's girlfriend, Mary Grace Vera Montez, who neighbor Gladys Olivate says goes by Grace and was a dear friend. Friends that I don't think I will ever see again. 85-year-old Roger Ammon. 84-year-old Sandra McDonald, 66-year-old Debbie Kennedy, who family members tell us was an amazing mother and grandmother, 82-year-old Bill Cutlip, his niece tells me he was a proud military veteran. I'll have to send a couple other times. Yeah, it's just every time I hear a siren, I think that they're finding somebody else or somebody came to see their parents' house or something. And it's Spanish Lakes resident Paula Richards knows her scars run deep. I um. And as Victor clutches his grandfather's navy necklace, pulled from the rubble. It's not coming off. He knows his own scars will never truly heal. I should be going to see him right now. You know, it's two minutes down the road. I don't know what to say.